Yo, what's going on, Dragon Ballers? We're here with another Nationals Topping Deck Profile, and today we're here with the man, the myth, the legend, Peter Katani, and we're gonna go over his fourth place Sin Shenron Deck Profile. What's going on, Peter? What's going on, Joey? And, I don't know, is fourth really topping? Because it's like, you know, first, second, third, fourth is, yeah, it's fourth. Bro, come on, that's definitely topping. I got top three, too, and I just, like, nothing compared to fourth. But, I mean, yeah, you definitely made out like a bandit, that's for sure. Um, absolutely. And I just wanted to say something for anyone who doesn't know that before I, and I've told Peter this before, like, before I became, like, a content creator for the game and stuff, I used to always watch Peter's videos. Uh, I used to love watching his videos, actually. It was really cool. And now I talk to Peter on a somewhat regular basis, which is awesome. Uh, Why is it you love it? Don't, don't you love my videos anymore? Bro, what video? You haven't made videos in a long time. You actually took a little break yeah, from the game, right? And now you came it's, back yeah. and top four Nats. Like, what's up with that? Yeah, no, no. I, I, I did it because it was Orlando. It's literally a three-hour drive. So, like, if it wasn't Orlando, I wasn't going. Uh, just because I hadn't played for so long. Um, the fact that it was three hours, I was like, oh, I'll do the LCQ because I did almost no events other than Fest. That doesn't give you an invite. Um, and, yeah, made it work. But, uh, that yeah, makes sense. Continue. You think you're going to stick with the game now, or are you going to take another break until you get an Orlando event again? I want to, but, like, I'm a new father. Uh, he was born, like, about three months ago. So, you know, things are things are hard to, like, manage. It's hard to, like, do my normal, normal stuff. Even, like, working out, I don't do as much anymore. Right, right. Well, yeah. super big congratulations on that once again. Uh, but, <laughs> all right, so let's talk about the deck. So what made you play Sin? Because I feel like you're not normally, like, an aggro player like this, but what made you play this deck? Yeah, no, I was shameful. <laughs> um, I knew I was going to try, and I was going to take Yellow Bardock, because a friend of mine was saying, hey, do this, it's really good. I'm like, okay, cool. Got all the cards, great. I went to the LCQ, did two of them, failed. Like, I sucked. Uh, Jonathan got his invite first try, which is sin. And I'm like, bro, give me the deck, let me, let me try. Didn't know what anything did. So, tried it, the deck literally played itself. I'm like, cool, got my invite. That simple. I still didn't want to take meta because it's just the personality I am. Right. Play meta, but um, I tried Turtle School afterwards. I'm like, oh, you know, someone was doing good with this. See, we played uh, at night. Andrew did like two games with me. At the end of my turn, I had four cards in hand. I'm like, yeah, this ain't it. This can't be it. <laughs> so I took Shin just based off like, bro, just give me a deck, and it was Shin. That simple. Yeah, unfortunately, green is typically not it. But yeah, I mean, obviously, you picked a great deck, got you a great result, so. Let's jump right into the main board. So, of course, we have our six crack balls, uh, three tests in the ops, three wolf fang fists, pretty standard extra card lineup. Um, anything about this you want to say? Um, <laughs> my me losing for a third was three wolf fang fists and two testing oppositions in my hand. Oh, uh, in your opening, um, in your opening hand? No, man. Like when we went for the when I went for the final push, I was five k short. Oh, jeez. And five other cards in my hand was them. Oh, so that sucks. I bro, and w when we look at the deck, I don't think there's any more extra cards. Like I think that's it, plus the dragon balls. But there's gone. They're gone by a turn two. So that's literally the so five maybe, cards. In so my maybe hand. too many extra cards then. Those I couldn't believe it, but no, all day they were fantastic. Um, Wolf Fan Fix put a check on Beerus, the Z, right? The Z battle card, yep. They would yep. never attack, but that was a blue strategy, anyways. They would just bring out the Beerus to control the eight drop, so right. I can never really bring it out. But outside of that, it was still effective, at least they knew it was good. A lot of people don't like the unison uh build. I right. thought it was fantastic. It gave me a beautiful turn, too. But we'll talk about that in a sec. <laughs> yeah, and I think uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Yeah, so going into the dragons, of course, for Oceanus, for Haze. Uh, for Nova, I noticed you're not playing Ice. Um, How would you feel about that? Did that feel fine? I didn't know Ice existed. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> Ice basically does the same thing, except instead of drawing a card, it gains crit, right? So that's the only difference. Um, Nova's probably the better one, to be honest. Yeah, no, no, I was a big fan of Nova, even though it's almost useless with all, like, blue. They got that Beerus card. Green got Shocking Death Ball. And red had a um, uh, fist. And some people did fist. Yeah. Whatever the case. Um, that, as good as he is, I almost had to kill him with my leader's ability first before even swinging with it. Just to get the draw. Sure. And then see if they wanted to waste the card to, to remove it and stuff. Yeah, and if he, if he lives, he gets multiple draws, which is kind of crazy. Like, yeah, I think the way you're talking about it is absolutely correct. Like, 
don't let it die for free, but then like get your value off of it, and then if they kill it, they kill it, right? Whatever. Yeah. 100%. Uh, all right. Two Natron. I hate this card. Uh, why? Why did you me play this too. card? How did you feel about it? Well, so when Andrew gave me the list, um, that card was two of the trunks. Something power. Uh, oh, deluge. Can... Deluge of power. Deluge. Yeah, that one. Deluge of power, and I'm like. Man, it's not that great. I looked at this card. I'm like, this ain't bad. It's consistent. Uh, it was 100% always charged. And it, as good as it was, it was two cards guaranteed going to be side out. So, you know, sometimes you need cards to side out. Hey, that's a perfect choice. Yeah, like Upstar Goblin, right? That, that's exactly what the thing was. Yeah, and it I, was I remember a lot of people play this card when the deck first came out. But the deck's already super consistent. Like, you just don't need it, right? Like, but... Yeah, 100%. Pointless. All right, four Dread Destroyer, of course. Four eight drops yep. makes perfect sense. Uh, two so. Rage, only usable when you're on a Z leader. Also makes perfect sense. But that sense. chicken, bro, the yeah, whole the day. The card's broken, right? The whole day. It's just insane when, like, you know, your opponent's trying to kill you and you have Testing the Op and this card. Like, you know, Dark Broly Overrealm is so crazy in the format because it kills the blocker negates, but your deck literally has, you know, uh, more than the standard amount, right? So it's just crazy. No, no. My Z leader is a 20k, so getting through me, the hand size that I have is most of the time impossible. Right, right. Uh, the Vegeta SCR, of course. Uh, I don't know. Did, have you ever seen people play the Radiant Sands SCR? Radiant Sands. The blue, red, Califla. Oh, damn. you know, that would have been cute, but like the way I play, um, I, I honestly didn't use this deck as like an aggression deck. I was quite like a poker, like all 15. All 20, I wouldn't really combo. So for the way my playstyle is, that Vegeta was fantastic, but nine out of ten times, all that Vegeta did was get rid of a boo unison oh, yeah. and get rid of a life. Yeah, absolutely. You need it, you need it for boo unison hundred percent. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh four copies of beer, standard super combo. Alright, so we have the unison here. So you were, you were talking before about how people don't really like the unison build. I think last mm -hmm. format you didn't really need to play the unison build, but now, like you said, you need Wolfang Fist for the Beerus, right? Otherwise, that card is just going to absolutely destroy Sin. So now the well, um, the unison build seems much more important. But um, how'd you feel about it? Well, I wouldn't know last format, so right, right. <laughs> um, a lot of people said, "Oh, you play Shin a lot different. You know, you're one of the best Shin players I know." I'm just like, well, I don't know another style i can assume that a turn two would be the two drop and the four drop i understand that yep but my goal was the unison because it just automatically put value there and um that black dragon smoke was everywhere that would basically die but i already got value off it anyway so i never cared right i was right. a big fan of the unison yeah you get immediate value and then you know they're paying two but they're not like setting up really you know they're, they're paying two to deal the problem and then you, you can just follow up with more swings, more crits, more more big attacks. So, yeah, I don't think it's a big problem. Um, did you ever see the red-yellow build of Sin? Uh, I found out about it uh, in round four. Somebody had it. I was just like, oh, I, I did a mirror match. Um, and he had the yellow version. I found out that negate or plus 5k to the leader. I was like, that's strong. I didn't have that. What do you think about that version versus the mono red version? Um... I won the dice roll, so in theory, I, w I was going to win, but I was so new to the mirror match, not knowing what to do, and not slow playing, but I was slow taking my turn, that time got called, and at the end it was just like, yeah bro, you get it, because like, I don't like the fact that I took so much time, but I was so un inexperienced, I was learning the deck and the matches as I was going through the tournament. Makes sense, makes sense. Yeah. Uh, all right, the one Yamcha, of course. Uh, two Dispo. This is a pretty popular card nowadays. Gogeta and Sin are playing this. Um, free negate with your unison, but with people constantly smoking your unison, was this card like kind of ever dead in your hand, or you liked it? Uh, they, they weren't constantly smoking. They had an option to kill it, but most of the time they, they didn't care for it, mm -hmm. and my unison was kind of always on the board. Dispo was always, in theory, live. Even one energy for a negate wasn't that bad. Uh, why is it in the deck? I have no idea. The only leader that I saw that untapped himself was uh, Go Tanks, but I did go against it twice, so it was useful. Wow, that's pretty funny. Yeah, no, I think people only play this card because it's another free negate, but the fact that you actually got to use the full effect is, is definitely pretty funny. I don't right. think people usually care about that. Yeah, no, no, I'm a big fan of that. Big fan of that. Uh, two Golemite. So this is like a European tech. I, I first saw this with the European builds, but um you know seems like it's good in the mirror but it doesn't ignore barriers so how good was it actually 
Um, if they had the little dragon that gave barrier, then it wasn't that great. If they didn't, then I had a great out. It's a perfect charge. It's a perfect side out card. Um, the two mirror matches that I had, it was used on me more than I got to use it. But um, yeah, no, it, it, it didn't do much, but it's important for the deck. Uh, gotcha. Just for the mirror. Gotcha. Uh, two Burly Crowns. Uh, I noticed, yeah, I don't man. think you're siding any more copies. Um, if that's correct. Andrew said I didn't need to. He says, you'll be fine with two. Did I want three? Yeah, because I went against like five blue decks. But you know what? I think Andrew gave me this deck knowing I was going to top. And just in case we face each other, which we did, <laughs> he had an automatic win. That's my theory. That's funny. Yeah, it's always a deal when like someone lends you a deck. Like You got to like, you know, uh, <laughs> hook them up basically. But it's all good. <laughs> Uh, Sun Gohan facing the Android Terror. So, yeah, this card, how, how'd you feel about it? I don't know. I, I haven't tried a red deck with this card yet. So, what'd you think? Okay, so the card is incredible. In this deck, probably not. But the card itself is insane. Um, for one energy, you neg 10. And then when you combo away, it's a 15k combo for one energy. And it's a minus 25 on a single, per on a single thing for two energy. So... It has so much value. Now, where I saw it the best was in Gogeta because they can uh, attack with it and then combo it because it's rest mode. True, I was very true. impressed by that. But uh, it could have really been anything. I just tried it out because a friend at the house had it. And I was like, you know what? Let me borrow. Let me see how it does in the tournament. I, Bro, this was such a free. Let me let me just see how I do in this tournament. That's, that's what that card was. Gotcha. Uh, and the final card, Ultimate Dragon Quake, the SCR Killer. Uh, how often did you catch people off guard with this? The way you just said it, the SCR Killer. That's exactly what it was. It was like my best card. Problem is, in top four, when I went against Andrew, he's the one that gave me the deck. He waited till turn eight to drop his secret rare and attack three times. And I was just like, you suck. <laughs> yeah, he knew what he was doing in that matchup for sure. He knew exactly what to do. But that card, MVP. Yeah, so Z-Deck is definitely super standard. Um, I don't think... You, you always play four rush attack. You play one defender. Like This makes perfect sense. Um, now, you say that, but someone like me who's inexperienced with Z, the only thing Z that I knew was my leader. Oh, yeah. I barely use the others, mostly because I'm just not used to playing with Zs. So I looked at my hands and option most of the time. Rarely did I remember, oh, wait, I have a Z-Deck. Let me use that. In my... Um, my final match for third, I wish I remembered Vegeta. He would have done tremendous. I think I would have won. But looking back on it, I'm like, I forgot I even had it. Man, you know, I think a couple a couple people are going to watch this video and be like, how did this guy get fourth place? But that's oh, 100%. All, that's all no, no, good. as people played me, are you kidding me? As people played me, I would do moves like, oh, uh, I'll destroy that. It's like, oh, it has barrier. All right, but I already played the card, so like, I lose out. I do Yamcha on uh, Go Tanks, 25. I'm like, Negum. Oh, he has Deflect. Oh. Like, as people played me, they thought I was a joke. But yeah, but you know what? You, you've been playing the game since day one, so you had the fundamentals, right? And that's, that's yeah, definitely matters. Yeah, I had that much. Yeah, the fundamentals definitely matter a lot. Uh, all right, let's go into the sideboard. So, one max power, just more mirror match coverage. Uh, never played it once, but I sided it, but never got to play it. Gotcha. Uh, all right, so you, it seemed like the Gohan wasn't too impressive, but you cited two more. Uh, what was the reason behind that? Oh, well, it, uh, again, I, I had no testing with this deck. I was giving it on Friday, and it's just like, see how you do. I saw Red the card. I'm like, oh, this looks good. Let me main one. Let me side two, because uh, Andrew had um, three baby unisons and three Videls, and I'm like, that sounds stupid. <laughs> so I took, them, <laughs> I took them out and put like some things that looked decent, and once I played the Gamma match, I was like, oh, that's what the baby was for. I got it. Right, but, right. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, no, when it comes to sideboard, it's like, that was just Peter trying to card. All right, well, the rest of it's pretty good. You got three Violet Rays. Definitely good against, like, Vegito, um, if you played against that deck. Uh, I did it. You did not? I did not, so oh, it gotcha. sucked. Gotcha. I didn't know what the hell it was good for. <laughs> Maybe okay in the mirror match, right? Like, it stops their double eight drop turn, right? You know, that would make sense. Um, but even then, it just felt like a nag card. Yeah. Uh, I didn't think it was that great the whole tournament, but yeah. Gotcha. And then Omen and Mai, definitely some blue hate, right? Uh, Omen sucked. Um, again, not knowing things, somebody played a, a negate attack goat that grabs a unison from the drop. I was like, haha, negate it. 
and I create a life, and he's like, oh, I still get the units, and I'm like, oh, yeah, oh. it's part of the counter text, but uh -huh. to be fair, that card's not very good anyway, so you probably won that game anyway. I, I did, but let me tell you, it was a, it was a struggle, yeah. but still, the fact is of not knowing cards and messing up, the one second it takes to read a card, I was like, no, just counter, and then I find out the hard way. Gotcha. And then three Kyle Ken. So what's funny actually is like if, if you play against yellow and they play slug on you turn two, they could actually mess you up. And I think that actually happened to you, right? If uh, maybe in your game against Russell, I think I heard. That's a, a game, game, uh, game one, the final round of Swiss uh, to see who makes it in. He played Lord Slug. I'm holding five balls in my hand. <laughs> I did not know that was a play. And I'm like, oh, I lost. Okay, cool. <laughs> that simple. And I was glad that I had these to side in. I'm like, okay, I'm ready. Yeah, I, I, normally in this deck, for anyone who doesn't know, you gotta you, you typically want to hold your balls until you have them all because you don't want to draw more balls, right? That's typically the idea. But yeah, yep. against yellow, you can't be greedy like that. You have to do it because if they play slug, you're just dead. Uh, but yeah, that's a pretty funny occurrence. But uh, overall, Peter, that's deckless, man. Uh, I know it was definitely a a pretty crazy day for you. Definitely a little bit of luck, but obviously, you're, again, your fundamentals like you know took you there, right? So uh, any I, shout outs you want to throw out there? I think that's what it was. It was just fundamental and just, uh, I think it was calm the whole time. By round four, I was X2, and I knew that it had to be, I had to basically win five more times in a row to make it in. But some some point you lose that, uh, what what is it, the, the fear of like, oh, I can't lose, I can't lose. This one, I'm like, ah, if I lose one more, all right, whatever, I'm done. And as you get closer, I think the ninth round was the most fearful one. But as you get closer, you're like, oh, I'm slowly doing it. At that point, you're just playing the game. Like, I was just having fun playing the game, and that's why I made it through day one. After I had two losses, I'm like, oh, that's it. You know, let me see what I can do afterwards. Same thing happened in Fest. Like, I lost the first two rounds, and then six in a row I won. It's just because I stopped having that fear. And man, I'm, I'm old, man. I, I haven't played forever. So it's kind of like what the deal was with this. And it kind of was my style, too. I hate Rush. But I like control and the leader being able to neg 15, like don't negate with a, a freezer or some Android that Gamma does. Um, I'm like, okay, well, neg, neg, and it, and it dies. And I really like the board control aspect of this deck. Yeah, I think this deck is just like super value. Like, I think that's where like the kind of the control comes from. Like, you know, you're doing these huge crits, you're keeping the board clear, killing unisons for free. Like this deck is just like insane, insane value. Um, but yeah, I think you're also yeah. a hard guy to shake. Like, I don't, I don't see you getting very nervous very often, but um, yeah, not much. Just because I don't know what they're doing anyway, so I'm just like, okay, what's happening? Right. Uh, what I notice about the deck though is like I have, let's say, two monsters, so like eight bombs in my deck. Everyone else is kind of a McNugget. Like my hands were kind of sometimes weak. If I wasn't had the four drop or the eight drop and not remembering the Z deck, my deck didn't do much. <laughs> right. Um, but the Z leader being a 20k double strike minus 20 super strong that I, bro the leader itself literally carries the whole deck yeah it's like your leader is a boss monster by itself right exactly just board control and just he hits he's and he's 20 tanks most of the time like the um, someone came up with a stupid strategy of don't put shin to five so people did not attack i was dumbfounded by it um <laughs> like they'll pass with a threat that i'm just like you didn't attack? Oh, okay. And like, what is my deck doing? I'm 100% attacking. So them not attacking, I don't know what they're building, but like they're slowly losing cards defending while I didn't have to lose anything because you didn't attack. I, I don't know where that strategy came from, um, but it, it helped me tremendously throughout yeah, the tournament. It's a strategy you have to use correctly. Um, like if you're playing a control deck, right? You just don't want Sin to start smashing your face in, but it really depends on the deck you're playing, the situation of the game. Um, yeah, it's a it's a hard one to use though correctly, but you you would know more than me. But for me, I was a dump out. Someone had a twenty five dual attack and didn't swing. It was just like, okay, well, let, well I'm swinging, kill that, and bro, wild. And I think that's really what got me so far is that strategy because I saw so many people play it. They didn't want me to go low, and I'm just like, all right, at some point it's annoying, but like. I can still bring out the A drop for two, like right. But like, if you're on the opposite end, right? Like, would you want would you want to put the send opponent to three for free? Eh, it, I, bro, I, I don't know. Two negates, you stop that turn. All right, now you push. I'm at three. When I'm at three, it's actually dangerous. Right. At three, right. like my my free negates, they take a life. Other than dispo, the other one takes a life. That puts me at two. That's chomper range. And my hand, like they're five Ks most of the time outside of uh, Beerus. Yep. Um. 
So at least from my experience, when playing the deck, when I was at three, that's when I felt uh, in danger. But never did I try to rush to three. I didn't defend just out of principle because I feel like wasting my combo power once I'm at 20k makes more sense. Like if you swing with 15, I don't want to waste a 5k for that. I'd rather wait until I'm 20 that you have to combo up. My hand's going to be stacked once I'm at three. That's right. kind of like the mindset I had while I'm poking you with 20 double strike or the, the eight drop. Um, and you're giving me cards. I, bro, I'm, I'm telling you like a little bit of Swiss, it was kind of free just because that strategy a bunch of people were doing and yeah it made no sense to me very interesting very interesting yeah i mean i think a lot of people will learn a lot from this conversation of uh maybe how to play against sin a bit more but anyways peter uh any any shout outs you want to throw out um uh, shout out to andrew and jonathan even though we don't test those are like the only people i get to talk about dbs anymore um the locals here in miami i i, I I, I don't get to, so like it's just babes on talking. Um, I talked to friends, but most of the time they didn't know I was still good, uh, just because my ideas are are always a little wacky out there. Um, but I played a meta deck and did good, so you know maybe uh, a fr Andrew said it best. He's like, try to feed your kid this time. I'm like, oh man, you know what? <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. All right, let me try. So that's pretty much the main reason why I took a deck that I knew meta even though i've never played it and that's another thing too a lot of people are like oh it's brain dead it's boring for me someone who's never touched or seen the deck it was kind of fun at first it was kind of fun the two days i played it i was just like all right great now i have some big leader of shin and part of me wants just to have it to have it like keep have the deck but realistically i'm probably never gonna play it again gotcha man well again huge congratulations and we will see you next time thank you joey